Hi everybody, it's Mr. Ng, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. Today for our art activity, we are talking about logos. If you are in sixth grade, we discussed already how graphic designers are the artists that create logos on different products and for brands. And um, we're gonna study them a little closer, just as a fun activity. So today, what I want you to do is look around your house and find two things, two items, two products that have an interesting logo on them, okay? So pause this video, look for two, find two things that have an interesting logo, then come back here and we will work together on sketching and studying them a little bit closer. So here's the two products that I found, um, Armorel Disinfectant Spray and a can of Pepsi. I just like this, this logo right here for the Armorel. Um, it doesn't have to be the whole packaging, okay? Um, focus on just the logo for the company. So this is the word armor all with the little Viking guy. And then Pepsi is just this, this circle with the Pepsi in it. So um, the next step is to just get a blank piece of paper and sketch. I use the word sketch intentionally because um, once again, sketching is loose drawing. It's practice drawing. This is not something that has to be super detailed, super finished. Okay, so I'm speeding up this video of me drawing, but I just wanted to show you this example of how I tackled drawing the logo. Um, you kind of take at your own pace. What I'm doing here is I'm looking for the lines and the shapes. I keep on telling you guys that when you draw things. Look for an easy line to start with. Look for basic shapes. When you look at a logo, um, oftentimes you can break it down and then compare what goes where. Um, it's okay to make mistakes because once again, this is just a practice sketch. Um, as you can see in this one, you'll see some of my spacing between my letters is different than what the actual logo ended up uh, is in real life because um, my spacing wasn't very good. Look for shadows, look for lines. Um, we're just doing this in pencil so you don't have to worry about different colors unless you want to do that. But um, color in sections that are dark and leaf sections empty that are lighter. One last thing I want to mention is don't just write the word or letters. If you see words or letters in your logo, um, form the shape of them. One thing I didn't notice in the Pepsi logo is that that I has a slant to the top of it. I would never have seen that if I wasn't paying attention and trying to form the outline and the shape of it. All right, so that is basically it. Um, that was my example. Now it's your turn to take the two things that you found and a piece of paper and sketch out the logos that you see. Um, hopefully you'll have a fun experience with it. Remember the point of this is to observe with your eyes. Um, take notice, hopefully you'll see something that you didn't notice before about the logos that you're looking at as you draw them. Remember we're here to learn, we're not here to be perfect. Um, that's it, so when you are all done, take a picture of your sketches and um, attach them submit them to the Schoology assignment or uh, bring them in next time you have art class. Other than that, have a great day.